Hey guys, this is Jonathan Kane, also known as JZK Math, and today I decided that I was going to show you guys how to convert an open SCAD file to a step. So one of the things is a lot a lot of parts that are in 3D we want to have as a step file so that we can like edit them in the software such as SolidWorks. So for example, the reason why I actually learned how to do this is Due to this, this here is the um, extruder assembly for the new Prusa i3 Mark III. And I've been working with a few other people to convert all the um, parts to a step file. Um, one of the things is that they only provide the open SCAD file and the STL. And STL is a bunch of triangles, which makes it a real pain to deal with. And also the main reason that you want to use a step file is that if you look in this here um, assembly, one of the reasons why is this. If you see that's a circle, um, if you were to use a STL file, this is actually become a faceted, um, would be technically a faceted shape. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a circle, it'd be a, a polygon with, in this case, would be actually 30 faces because of the way that STLs work. So for some reason, a lot of people have told me that whenever they do this method it does it leaves the face number in there but i don't see that happen so i'm going to sh show you guys directly how this happens for this i'm going to use this one because it's relatively simple i'm going to close out out of solidworks because we don't need to see that so here's what it looks like in open scad so if you see um reason why is right here there's 30 faces so whenever it resolves it these become 30 faces, and you kind of see it right here as well, those little faces. So what I do is I go into a program called FreeCAD, and of course it's free. I'm going to open up this file, which should be the uh, filament sensor cover. So it comes in like this. As you can see, all of the cut commands, so basically the way that open, this was made in OpenSCAD is there was a bunch of primitive polygons, and they've been rotated and translated into space, and then it's told that, hey, this needs to cut, the, this cuts this body and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into OpenSCAD, and so now I have the option to edit this. So what I do is I... Is I know that the certain shapes here need to be or need to be cut from this main body. So what I do is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hold down my control key, click on this, and then I go over here and click on this little make cut of the two shapes. As you can see, it cut that. So I'm just going to keep on doing that. Okay, and then. This, 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 and this, 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 and this, this, and this. See here, this, and this. And this, and this. As you can see, there's another one here. I think there's this one as well. Nope. Okay, so basically that's what you get when you finished it. And then all you got to do is go to File, Export, and then Step. And then that's basically how I converted all of the... Um, all of the SCAD files that I got from the Prusa directory over to a to a step file. Um, some of them, some of them will actually just come in and they'll be already ready to go, and you just go in. Also, when you save it, you might want to make sure you select that file. That's one thing that might it might tell you. So make sure to select the entire thing and then export as it, and then you can import into SolidWorks. So Three things that might happen when you do this. One is it just it did what I just showed you. 
Um, the other thing it could do is it comes in fine. You just click on and export. The other thing is sometimes it just return an error and you just can't do anything about it. Um, in the case of the Prusai 3 Mark III, the only one that had that problem was the INC base. So the the part that the um, INC printed circuit board had was actually there, uh, wouldn't convert. And I tried cutting, doing some cutting tasks, but certain parts of the file didn't come in. And so I just had to make leave that as an STL. Um, and that was, there was nothing I can do about that. So also, if you want to download any of like the step files for the Prusai 3 Mark III, I posted them on the GitHub as a fork. I've also posted them on GrabCAD and also on Thingiverse for anyone to download as SolidWorks assembly, the step files, or anything similar to that. And so I'll probably provide a link description. Um, and I guess that's it. So thanks for watching.